Well, with summer over, it's about time to do a review on this bad boy here. This is the Ego. I've been using it for a couple months, and what it is, it's pretty well the slickest rechargeable cordless lawnmower there is. If Tesla Motors made a lawnmower, this is probably what it would look like right here. Uh, this is like the latest in technology in electric garden tools. Anyways, first of all, let's get to the lawnmower. This is exactly how it comes. Right out of the box, you just lift the entire thing right out of the box. And what's included, you have a bag and a frame. That's the only thing you have to assemble is just put the bag on the frame. You get a charger. Now this is a quick charger. This charges this battery in 30 minutes. The runtime is 45 minutes and it only takes 30 minutes to charge. It's a lithium ion battery. We'll get to that in a second. And it also comes with a side discharge attachment and a mulcher attachment. So back to the battery, 30 minute charge, 45 minute runtime. I've gotten about 40 minutes. I've actually timed it a couple times, 40 minutes, which is more than enough time to mow the average size yard because most of the time, you know, if you're, if you're actually taking your bag off or you're moving your lawnmower, you don't need it to run. You can just turn it off. So that's actually 40 minutes of actual run time. Now the battery system here is a 56 volt lithium ion battery system. And a lot of the competition out there, they use a 40 volt system. Now, a lot of the competition also comes with two batteries. This only comes with one. But what I've found on the internet uh, and from other reviews from some of the smaller systems, the 40 volt systems, the runtime is about the same for two batteries than it is with this with the one single battery. So 40 minute runtime in actual real world usage, and but still 30 minutes from dead. Amazing charger. So let's take a look at some of the features of this Ego. A nice retractable handle here, two positions. So if you're a taller user, you can have it up here or down. Now, you also have these clips here that extend the handle out. And now these handles have to be extended in order to use the lawnmower here. Here you have a one touch adjustment here. So you have five, four, three, two, one for your height adjustment, one all the way down. Now, how easy is that? Up, back up to the top. Here we, we have a battery release. Now, like, look at this thing. This is something like right out of, uh, I don't know, Star Wars or something like that. You'd be like, okay, uh, I can see, uh, you know, yeah. Anyways, um, this is the battery. It's heavy duty. Uh, you have an indicator light here, and it just has a nice positive lock when you put it in. And you have to push it down as a spring load, and that's it. You close it down like that. So, that is a lawnmower. All you have to do when you start it up is you have this special lock and key as a safety feature. Now, if you push this down, that activates the starting mechanism, I guess, and you just pull the handle. That's it. That's all there is to it. There's no gas, there's no mixing. Uh, you know, it's like you can mow anytime you want. Even if it's getting dark out, this actually has headlights. Headlights on a lawnmower. One thing that's not a huge problem, but it kind of bugs me is that these handles here that are extended, the lawnmower will not work unless it's fully extended. So if I have it down here, I press this, it will not activate. It has to be fully extended and then locked and then it'll run. Now the reason why I'd like to have it a little bit shorter, sometimes I'm up against some hedges or things like that or re real tight quarters, it would be nice to have a shorter handle. Maybe that's a safety feature, I don't know, but it sure is nice that, you know, you just go hold the handle all the way, goes down and watch this. You can store it upright, which is an awesome feature. Now, just a couple things to note that they say is you can't really rinse this down with water. Obviously, it's electric. So, you know, for cleaning it, though, it's really easy because what gas lawnmower can you tip 
on the side, tip upside down. You need to clean the inside, you know, because you have some some wet uh, you have some wet grass that's clogging it. Whatever, you can do it. Doesn't matter. Nothing's gonna come out. So let's talk about power. This is a 600 watt motor. It has plenty of power for the average lawn and the average person mowing the lawn. Now, is it gonna have a problem on the first cut of the year with the longer grass, maybe a longer wet grass? Of course it will, but so will other gas mowers. You will have to take it slow. If you do load it up, you will get this light that comes on here and I'll say overload, overload, and it kind of blinks at you. You gotta slow it down. When you get close to the end of your battery life here, you will get a light that comes on and I've timed it that when that light comes on to when it stops is about five minutes. So make sure you finish off what you're doing in five minutes time. Now, the beauty of this system is that as the battery gets lower, it doesn't lose any power. Basically when it's done, it just shuts off and that's it. So you have almost full of power all the time. Now, if you wanna buy another battery, hey, by all means, you could keep on mowing all day long because your battery charge is shorter than the runtime. So one's finished and you go put a new one on, put this one on charge, and you can just cycle it through like that. You can also get some other power tools from Ego, like their hedge trimmer, their blower, and their uh, string trimmer. And uh, they also use the same battery system, but they come with a two amp battery. This is a four amp, but it will work, or the four amp will give you a longer run time. So what don't I like about this lawnmower? Well, there's a few things. Like I said, the extendable handles, that's a small thing. Uh, some people, might want a larger deck. This is a 20 inch. Uh, a lot of lawnmowers out there are 21, so it's a little bit more on the narrow side, but there are more narrow ones out there. So if it was a little bit wider, it'd be great. And the third thing, price. This is not a cheap lawnmower. It's $550 at Home Depot. Uh, I think there's a power tool sale and I got it for $495, I think. So it's still 500 bucks, which is really expensive for a lawnmower, especially just for a home lawnmower. But for $500, yeah, you know, you're getting the latest in battery technology and, you know, and electric motors. Uh, you get the benefit of having no fumes, a quieter experience. Uh, you can tip it upside down. The best thing is you can store it upright against your garage. You could hang it if you wanted to. You know, it's, it's that easy. And I don't know, you know, I've had people come up to me and they've said that, that they have lawnmower envy now. Uh, and if you're wondering why there's still a tag on this and the lawnmower's all dirty, I've used it, is because I was concerned when I spent $500 on a lawnmower that it wouldn't do the job. And, you know, I didn't want to be stuck with it. And they said that, you know what, no problem. If you don't like it, if it doesn't have enough power, return it. Guess what I'm gonna do right now? There we go. No return here. Anyways, thanks for watching.